Let your dreams breathe. March 18, 2014. As I weave my energies around you, within you, and to you, there will come many faces of the feminine. Allow each face that comes to your mind to enter your heart, to enter into you, to enter in through you. And thus you will create a portal, an entrance, and an exit that you will facilitate at a much higher energy than you realize. Humanity for so long has sensed the birth of new projects, of new ideas, of new energies, of new eras as something that was painful. Humans think they need another, a midwife, to birth their dreams, to birth their creations and their manifestations. It is time that you become the midwife of your own life and trust that you have the innate cellular and stellar knowledge to birth whatever it is that you feel that you need. From a rubber band for your ponytail to world peace, there is a need, a want, to retract yourself from the scurried world, to pull back into your conch shell of self and not venture out again until the tide has changed. When you leave your home shelter you can feel the electricity popping in the air, and the sand shifting at the Great Pyramid. You feel the hearts of those that stand in loneliness and the courage of those that walk through the shifting sands, fearful but aware they are being carried by the energies. It is time that you learn to understand the earth and all of her secrets, from the constant electricity in the air, to the tides that ebb and flow on the Nile. You can no longer stick your head in the ground and hide from your destiny. Your destiny is the loud roar you hear in your head and heart. Good luck trying to ignore that. You cannot sit on the haunches of your humanness and wait until the sands settle, wait until the tides ebb, wait until the winds of change stop knocking over all that is dead wood. It is time to dance with the energies of wind, and you use them to propel you forward out of the danger zone. It is time to merge with the granules of the shifting sands. It is time to hold your breath and dive deeply into the waters of all that is divinely human. Moving forward, moving now, and moving without fear will be the names of the chapters of the upcoming books in your life. Chapter 1, Learning to Walk in Between the Worlds. Chapter 2, Learning to Walk in the Cracks of Self. Chapter 3, How to Straddle What is Fractured and Broken and Ride It into Smoothness, Quantum Repurposing. Lift the veils of your humanness. Scrape the cataracts out of your heart. Scrape the resin off and let your pores breathe. Let your dreams breathe, and let your heart beat in joy again. Go into the cupboards that seem bare, and scrape the emptiness forming it into something that is wonderful and delicious. You all are the mothers of necessity and the mothers of creation. You form what others do not have the eyes to see. Do not get swept up in the winds of change and the fears of others. Speak to the body, love it as an old friend who has known you always. Speak to the mind with sweetness, for it has always set in counsel for your highest good. Tell your brain, to let you develop, to let you see more, to let you dream more, to let you become more. Coax it, as a child coaxes a parent for more allowance, for more privileges. You are about to stretch forward. There is no failure in being human. It does not matter if you waste your life, or you use your life appropriately. Whatever you are choosing to do is just fine. There are no mistakes, there are no failures. There is nothing you can do wrong. The core of wrong was given to you as a limitation, as was the frequency of death to limit you and bind you in fear. Cut away all things that bind you. Show by example over and over and over again. Like the mother eagle who comes to the ledge and shows her fledglings how to fly. Each fledgling has a different strength and weakness. The wind blows differently beneath each of their wings taking them to different places. Do not judge what another does, for they are most probably doing the very best that they can in that moment. Love them where they choose to camp, love them where they choose to settle. There are multitudes of choices because there are multitudes of people. All possibilities live within you. Do not allow the traffic jams of your soul and the frenzy of others to misdirect your purpose. Stand strong. Become one with your day, with the sun, the clouds, and the people that you see so blinded by the light. Let these energies of seeing open up to you. See into the truths that are hidden yet so exposed. 
I am Quan Yin, merge with me. I protect you and love you. Place me in your heart. It is there that I do my best work. Channeled by Jillian Macbeth Louthan. www.thequantumawakening.com